Dear students, welcome back. The topic today is ethical problems in research. Ethical problems need to be addressed with care if we want our research to be respected and given due consideration. We are still looking at a section of the O-level syllabus, difficulties in implementing a research strategy. In the previous lesson, we looked at several practical problems and some theoretical issues as we address the concern of the positivist and interpretive approaches to research. In this lesson, we look at another serious research dilemma, that of the ethical issues in research. What is an ethical problem? Ethical problem is a moral issue. It has to do with the problems related to ensuring that we do not harm anyone in the process of research. Problems, however unintended, may crop up in research. So we must be sure and certain that we understand what could be such problems in research. For instance, the respect for anonymity, confidentiality, privacy of the person we are researching. Ethical problems are of much greater concerns today in a world largely influenced by social media. We do not know who is watching us. You must have heard of these concerns. That is why we are careful that the rights of children are respected and they should not make use of such social media on their own. But in everyday living, we do not care, though we are concerned with the harmful consequences social media have for some people, whatever their age. Researchers should follow some strict ethical guidelines. The most important one is to obtain consent, often in writing, or the person's willingness to participate in our research, as well as the permission to publish the findings. In the case of researching children, we should obtain the consent of parents. It is evident that we should not gather information without the consent of those we are studying. The sociologist should therefore ensure that the people participating in the research feel secured. They should be assured that reporting would not cause any inconvenience or harm to them when the research is published. The names or identity will not be revealed. There are certain practical measures that sociologists can take. For instance, if they would wish to record an interview they should get the consent of the people being interviewed. Some people may talk freely to the researcher, but they would not wish some information to be revealed on some aspects of their life. The researcher should respect these demands of the people she is researching. If she does not do so, she may run at the risk of people refusing to participate in her research. If she is known to have breached trust of respondents in the past. There are many other such concerns the researcher encounters. Even after the data is collected, some respondents may object to writing everything and revealing everything they said. A sociologist is not expected to publish what is objectionable to the person providing the information. Researchers do take some precautions to avoid such problems. For instance, the sociologist should check with the respondents before deciding on the final version to be published. The sociologist should ensure that she has kept the place and people completely anonymous. There are people the sociologist can access more easily and others not easily accessible. In some societies, people are not allowed to talk to the opposite sex, for instance. Male sociologists may not have access to women. It may also be difficult for people of a different ethnic group or social class to get access and speak to people freely. Access should be negotiated. There is an interesting example from the Nobel Prize winner Muhammad Yunus, which illustrates the problem of social norms which may impact on research. He was addressing women in Bangladesh. He is not a sociologist, but he has written about his work in his book, Banker to the Poor. 
It is an example of social norms that restrict access to the opposite sex. He could not talk to the women by himself. He was forced to stand in the middle of the courtyard where everybody could see him. A lady was hired by him. She would take the questions and explanations and relay the conversation to the women who were grouped in a closed room away from the male person trying to communicate to them. You could imagine how difficult it must have been for Muhammad Yunus to get a third person to go up and down and talk to this person with ladies who would not converse with him directly. He was forced to do this to respect the norms of that society. Ethical problems may also arise when sociologists sometimes have strong views about some social problems or societal issues. His views may conflict with the views of the people under study. Sociologists must not let their values interfere with what they hear or see. They should not distort what they see by judging others in terms of the values they hold themselves. You should realize that it is not often easy for any one of us to keep everyone's feelings and values from interfering with what we see or hear and how we judge people. How do we avoid ethical conflicts? This is a constant concern for every researcher. There are ways of doing it. We should get informed consent, respect the rights of others, Researchers should be careful while presenting vulnerable persons. Some people may be at risk and could be harmed if they are exposed by the researcher. Remember that the researcher is not an informer. She is not expected to report her findings to any higher authority. Ethical problem is in fact a problem for any researcher. In the natural sciences, scientists have serious problems of doing research that could be harmful to people, even humanity. These days, we hear a lot about it. Using animals to test drugs in pharmaceutical research is also an issue that has long been discussed and condemned by those fighting for the rights of animals. In this lesson, we dealt with ethical issues. We looked at difficulties of doing research the various ethical problems sociologists and other scientists face, which you should be conscious of while planning and doing research. We also addressed how to minimize and avoid ethical issues. You must have noted that ethical problems are always present and not easy to solve at times, but you must keep on trying and never forget that it is a critical issue in research. Let us now look at a few questions. What is an ethical problem? Two marks. Describe two problems related to ethics in research. Six marks. Explain two precautions that sociologists should take to avoid ethical problems. Six marks. What are the problems related to researching children, different ethnic groups, or the opposite sex? Eight marks. Do sociologists always face ethical problems in research? Eight marks. Sociologists face serious problems of ethics in research. How far do you agree? 15 marks. We have reached the end of this lesson. If you have any query or question, you can still send me a mail on umrama2011 at gmail.com. I also wish to remind you that the illustrations in this lesson were taken from an open source on splash.com. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.